Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do videos every single day, pop culture, tea videos, YouTube drama, celebrity. Girl, I do it all. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would be super, super grateful. Um, help me get to 30K, please show me the support and I would be super, super thankful. We need to talk about Ethan. I made a video about him losing his sponsors and it's actually getting a lot of backlash, not the video, but him. So a lot of people are coming out saying that Ethan Klein actually allegedly lied about losing the sponsor so he can come out as the victim and people can feel sorry for him and be able to forgive him for the comments and the things that he is canceled for. Now, I actually have to say that makes a lot of sense to me. It makes a lot of sense because in YouTube, like rule book for, for I'm sorry is, you know, you, you, you find a very plain background. You sit there with your sweater. You say you're sorry. You disappear. And then, you know, you try and do like things that make you look like a good person and like, you know, you victimize yourself. And that I believe could be something Ethan is doing. You know, I really highly doubt that people called all of his sponsors because he gets some good sponsors. You know, I don't necessarily believe that they called all their sponsors and they forced them to, you know, cut, cut him loose. You know, um, if he is actually doing this for sympathy, I can't imagine what his sponsors can are going to do in the future, right? Because as a PR person, I'm I'm thinking about like different different things, and I'm like, well, you know, let's say that um, Whole Foods, right, is sponsoring him, and then on this episode, he's like, no, you know, I don't, we're not accepting any sponsors. But then he, you know, he let's say he's allegedly doing this for attention and to play the victim. Well, then you know, in people's eyes, Whole Foods is not sponsoring him because of his comments, but then next episode they're sponsoring him again so who's gonna look bad not ethan but the brand so he really if he did this for for victimizing he really tarnished his whole chances of having you know sponsors because these companies are going to be like well i don't want people to think that we're okay with things that he has said or the way he acts or the way he hasn't really taken responsibility for you know the words that he chose you know what i mean um, it sounds, maybe it sounds complicated a lot in my head, but it, it, it I think it makes sense. Like, they're gonna, the ones who are going to look bad, not Ethan. I mean, Ethan already looks bad. Um, but that is why I personally don't think that this is something that he is doing to play victim. Because I don't think that he would really, really, really uh, kind of want to fuck up his future with, with sponsors. But then again, I don't see people calling in and convincing these huge sponsors to drop him. So I'm very 50-50, as you can see. I'm very like, it could be a bullshit, but then it could be real. Which one is it? Um, I don't know. I, I, I truly, I don't know. It, you know, if it is real and his sponsors dropped him um, because of the phone calls and because of the bad, you know, attention and and, and the the cancellation of it all, well, you know, they could be back because sponsors have come and, you know, come and left, you know, people, all sponsors are back for David Dobrik, right? Um, so, and, you know, we, I mean, Ethan really could have avoided all of this and just did, you know, something, it could have been fixed in three seconds, okay? Unfortunately, he didn't because I do believe that funny people who are put on a cloud, right, they feel like they're untouchable. And I feel like for Ethan, having the whole internet love him and side with him with every war that he's been in, you know, Keemstar, Trisha, David, like every war, people have sided with him because they, they love him and because he's, you know, he, he, he's, he's like a good guy and stuff. But I feel like because of that, he felt untouchable. And sometimes it's hard for people to, you know, reach down to earth and be humbled and say like, oh, okay, maybe I did fuck up and maybe it is bad what I said. And sometimes their own egos don't allow them to see further. You know what I mean? So I think that is what's going on with Ethan, especially on his podcast. You know, yesterday he says 
you know, it's bullshit that they canceled him the way that he did, they did, which only tells me that again, he doesn't quite understand why is wrong what he said. He doesn't understand why he's getting canceled. Like he still doesn't understand. And that's upsetting because it's over a week. Like I'm sure you should have had time to really think about it, to fully understand and to try and make things right. You know what I mean? Especially with the caller because I always say in my videos that I've done about this story is the caller, he seemed like so nice. He loved Ethan. He forgave Ethan. He made excuses for Ethan. He still supported Ethan after he was disrespected so many times. And, and you know, he yet he still stood by Ethan. So for Ethan to treat him that way was just very wrong. And still to this day, almost a week later, not fully understand is really upsetting. You know what I mean? So do I think that he's made all this up about the sponsors? I don't know. I, I truly I don't know. Like as a PR stand, I think that that would be really bad for future sponsors. Um, so I I don't know you guys. Like I, 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 I don't know. I truly, truly, truly don't know. I hope that I hope that he kind of realizes what's going on because it really seems to me like he doesn't quite get it or understand, um, which is very upsetting. And I feel like it is time for you to understand why it's disrespectful, why saying asking these questions to a gay person is disrespectful because A, it's none of your business, it's our intimacy and it's our private lives that nobody has the right to, you know, barge in them. So I don't know you guys, what do you think about this whole situation? Do you think Ethan lied to be the victim? Do you think that this is all real? What do you think? What do you know? Let me know in the comments below. Girl, I rhymed. Did you hear that? Let me know what you think. I already forgot it. Um, but I hope you guys are having a really good day. I woke up with like, I don't know if I slept wrong. I wore high, very high heel boots in my birthday on Saturday. Um, you probably can see that on Instagram. So I was very like, always very tense because I was scared I was gonna fall. So I think I'm just very like tensed up. Um, so I'm gonna take a hot, sh a hot bubble bath uh, so I can relax a little bit. And just know that I love you guys. Know that I'm always grateful for you. I'm very, very thankful for everything that you guys do for me. The comments, the subscribing, even the, you know, the criticism, you know, to improve my channel. I'm always open for it. So I love you. I'm grateful. Have a fabulous day. And I want to show you guys my, my jacket. It's, um, it has holes. Isn't it cute? I got it at Ross. Surprise, surprise, bitch. Literally got it at Ross. But let me just tell you guys something before I leave. Ross is really disappointing lately. I've been there because there's one close to my house. I've been there quite a few times and I have not been able to find anything at Ross. Like when I say anything, I mean anything. And I'm like, every time I go there, I am so happy to go. But the, 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 first of all, the quality and the choices of pieces that they are bringing in is just very disappointing. Now, I don't know if it's just my store, but it's really disappointing. And I'm like, oh, I love my Ross, but I think it's time for me to find other stores. I did, however, stumble upon Fashion Nova and I'm really loving Fashion Nova. And um, I ordered my whole birthday look from Fashion Nova, including the boots, really cheap. Um, the boots were like 20 bucks, you guys. So Fashion Nova, if you haven't checked out, super, super, super recommend. And it's true to their size, at least from what I ordered. Um, so yeah, definitely, I think Fashion Nova is gonna be my new Ross until Ross gets it together because they're not doing it for me lately. Not even the snacks are good. You guys know Ross has really good snacks. Not even the damn snacks. Something is happening. I don't know if it's because of like, you know, I don't know, I don't know why. I like, I try, I don't know why. <clears throat> so if you or anyone that works at Ross, <coughs> oh, let me know what the fuck is going on because I miss Ross. But 
I'm excited about Fashion Nova. Actually, when I have time, when I'm just like scrolling through my phone, I like to like go on Fashion Nova. All my clothes that I bought was girl clothes because that's something about me, guys. Like, I think guy clothes is so fucking boring. So I, like, this is a girl jacket. Um, I love girl clothes. Like, my shoes, I'm a size 11 in women. Like, my, my clothes, everything is like mostly girls, except my boxers. Um, but yeah. So Fashion Nova is super good. I gotta go, you guys. I just wanted to do a little chit chat in case you were bored or, you know, if you like these chit chats, let me know. I'm gonna take this off because I'm, I'm hot. All right, I'm gonna go. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, I did my nails, do you see? Well, I didn't do it, my best friend did. Okay, bye.